In this video, we'll be going over template preferences. Preferences for study templates can be found under Configure, Preferences, Chart, Templates. And here we have some settings made available to us. And enabling any of these settings or disabling any of these settings will change the behavior of chart templates. So default template is our first setting. At the moment, I do not have a default template, which means any new chart that I open will just be a plain chart. However, if I select Use Default and then select one of these templates, in this case, if I selected the SMA RSI, now every time I open up a new chart, the studies that are associated with that template will be plotted onto the chart. So every new chart will have that template applied, and I don't have to put these studies on the charts individually. So let's go back, configure preferences, chart, templates. Here for the template title, which refers to the upper left-hand corner here underneath the symbol, we can either have the name of the template showing only. So if I click on name only, You'll notice that the name of the template shows here, which is SMA RSI. I can select study labels only. So in this case, it will show only the study labels that are plotted on this chart, which is the SMA. And then I have name and study labels. And if I select that, I will have both the template name and the study name listed. Here we have the overwrite studies and the confirm overwrite studies. Now they work in tandem, so if I were to have none of these selected, what ends up happening is if I click apply and click OK, since overwrite is not selected, if I go ahead and select another template, it will simply add those studies on top of these existing studies. So if I select, uh, let's say, MACD CCI, I now have the MACD CCI added to the already existing RSI and SMA. Okay, so let's take that off. Let's go back. Chart templates. If I select Overwrite Studies, then it will automatically remove the existing studies and replace them with the new ones. So if I go back and select again MACD CCI, you'll notice this time that the RSI and the SMA are not on the chart. They have been overwritten. So let's go back to Chart, Templates. Now Confirm Overwrite Studies allows you to be alerted before overwriting any studies. So let's take a look. So now if I want to go and add the SMA RSI, it's warning me. Would you like to delete, replace existing studies in the chart? If I select yes, it will replace the existing ones. If I select no, it will add to the existing ones. So let's select yes and you'll notice that they have been overwritten. Configure, Preferences, Chart, Templates. Now here we have Link Templates, and this indicates that templates should work in conjunction with chart linking. So let me show you that. Now let's remove the existing template. Now if I make Apple part of the green group, and also make Microsoft part of the green link group. Let me just place them side by side. So these are now both linked to the same group in this color, in this case, the green group. Now, if I were to add a template to Microsoft, you'll notice that it also applies to Apple. And that's because we have the chart templates, the link templates set. If we didn't have link template set, then of course when we added the template here, it would not have shown up here. Okay, so let's go back, configure preferences, chart, 
templates. The last option we have here is use default in scanner. And what that allows you to do is, is that if you are running the ultimate version and you have the scanner, when creating a scanner, you have to select some studies or a single study. And Motive Wave makes this process easier for you by automatically populating the scanner with the studies listed in this default template here, saving you that extra step. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.